Hello, I'm Carol Celine, talking with otolaryngologist Dr. Ryan Heffelfinger. You do both facial and reconstructive work. And first I want to talk a little bit about the reconstruction. What kinds of patients do you work on and what are some of the techniques that you use? Okay, well I'm the director of microvascular surgery and what that is um, is taking tissue from one part of the body to replace another part of the body. So most commonly in my practice we see patients with head and neck cancer. So when you have a cancer of the head and neck, depending on where it's where it is, you end up having that resected and you have an area of your face resected. Um, that can be your jawbone, your mid-face, your eye, your skull. When you say resected, you mean it's cut away uh -huh. and you've got to rebuild it. Yeah, so to get the cancer out, we cut the cancer out plus some normal tissue around it to get everything out. Then you're left with a hole. So in the old days, you'd do things like let it heal or they'd walk around with the significant deformity for a long period of time for the rest of their lives. Um, nowadays, we can take tissue from a defined part of the body, whether it's the leg, whether it's the stomach, whether it's the back, and replace that missing tissue um, to give them better form function and make them members of society again. Wow. And the name for that procedure is called? Free Flap, F-R-E-E. -E. And, and everything, I guess you have to connect all the, the vessels and whatever so that it looks like it's living skin again or living body tissue. Yeah, so there's, a, there's an artery and a vein, usually about two to three millimeters each, that we hook up to give it a new blood supply so it lives. Uh, sometimes we connect a small nerve so they get mm. sensation back. Wow, that's pretty remarkable. So people look as close to normal as possible. Yeah, and, and yeah. you know, being a cosmetic and reconstructive surgeon, you know, I always have that eye for the aesthetic. So you know, I want them not only to I'm not trying to just to plug a hole. I want them to look good and be able to work and you know, walk out in public again. Wow. Let's talk about cosmetics. What's the new thing in cosmetics? Where are you concentrating on the face? Yeah, so um, it's sort of the new thing everybody's talking about, and the Hollywood thing is this volume. So uh, Volume. Volume, yeah, adding volume to the face. And it's, uh, it started kind of with Madonna, and you know, she has this you know, sort of cherub look where her face is more full and looks you know, more like the five, six-year-old kid. Um, and the way you do that is with fillers, which is um, Restylane and Juvederm and things like that, or fat from the own body. Um, the benefits of fat is that it could be a potentially permanent thing um, and that you're using tissue that is your own uh, to rejuvenate your face. You know, one area where that's especially big is in the mid-face. Um, your mid-face is an area that people haven't traditionally talked about too much. And that's the area we're talking about volumizing or adding you know, tissue to. Yeah, it's changed plastic surgery a lot instead of like the really tight look. Now they want you to look nice and full and round. Yeah. Oh, I'll be in to see you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in, Dr. Heffelfinger. Thank you.